In this video, we're going to look at how to graph marginal revenue. So some basics. Marginal revenue is the change in total revenue from selling one more unit of output. Marginal revenue is the slope of total revenue. And in terms of the formula, we can think of it as a change in total revenue divided by change in output, or just in shorthand notation, delta or change in total revenue divided by delta Q, where the delta represents change in. Uh, calculus, we can think of uh, marginal revenue uh, as a derivative. A derivative is a slope function, so if we were to take the derivative of a total revenue equation with respect to output, we got marginal revenue. Let's do some examples. We have a perfectly competitive firm that sells tomato plants at $12 per plant. We want to graph this firm's marginal revenue. Well, for perfect competition, this is pretty straightforward. Price will equal marginal revenue in perfect competition. Every time a perfectly competitive firm sells one more unit of output, their revenues go up by the price they sold that unit for, uh, $12. A perfectly competitive firm, in other words, doesn't have to cut the price to sell more units. So to graph this, it's just going to be a horizontal line. This marginal revenue curve will just be a horizontal line at the price that the firm sells its product for. So horizontal at $12 or perfectly elastic at $12. All right, moving on to example two. Uh, we're going to look at a firm that faces a downward sloping demand curve. So just first in sort of general notation, the firm faces the following inverse demand where price equals A minus BQ. What is marginal revenue? Marginal revenue will look like the price equation, except the slope term here is going to be uh, twice as steep. So instead of minus b, it's minus 2b times q. So doing some uh, examples here, if the firm faces an inverse demand of price equals 40 minus 0.5q, marginal revenue will be 40 minus 2 times 0 0.5, and 2 times 0 0.5 is just 1, so we can write it as 40 minus q. Another numerical example, uh, maybe a firm faces an inverse demand of price equals 100 minus 5q. What is marginal revenue? Same vertical intercept of 100, but the slope here is twice as steep, so it's minus 2 times 5 or minus 10q. And what I graphed over here on the right is example 2b. I have the demand curve. Okay, uh, vertical intercept of 100. Uh, notice when Q is 20, the, the, the price would be 0. 100 minus 5 times 20, the price is 0. So this is indeed what the demand curve looks like. And marginal revenue will look just like demand, but a slope that is twice as steep. So notice here, marginal revenue will touch the horizontal axis, not at 20, but half that value, or 10. Uh, marginal revenue will, in the case of downward sloping demand curves like this, it will extend below the horizontal axis, so it's okay to draw this um, marginal revenue below the horizontal axis. Marginal revenue, in other words, can be negative. Uh, the firm could lower its price, and when demand is inelastic, if you lower your price, your total revenue will actually fall, meaning marginal revenue is negative. Um, let's do example three, but this time let's do it uh, using some calculus. Uh, example three is like 2b, but I'm just going to drive marginal revenue using calculus. So we get total revenue first, price times quantity. What's price? 100 minus 5q. So I substitute 100 minus 5q in for the p term, and that's going to be multiplied throughout by q. And then simplifying, q times 100, q times minus 5q, we get this result. We take the derivative of total revenue. You have your marginal revenue equation. All right, uh, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.